boy here, Abdurrahim back again with another great, amazing tech video. Well, today is a collaboration video with Winnie here. Hey, everybody, I'm Winnie. That's what's up. So, further info, I think we should just get started, right? Yes. Okay, that's cool. So on this kind of video today is all about the new kind of flagship of a smartphone. Now we all know that a lot of smartphones right now and nowadays they have changed their own kind of capability between the older version and right now. And uh, it seems to be so quite different from the older version from right now. Now I got a little bit of questions to ask Winnie here and we're gonna know what type of device applied the notch. And it's like almost like a wick, a notch. I'll start by saying like a notch, what is a notch? Actually a notch is half of a display like an iPhone X. Have you come across iPhone X? Yes. Okay, iPhone X has a little bit of a, uh, a, a little bit of screen display which has been taken off a little bit and um, you can get experience of a camera and stuff like that. Yeah, now there's a smartphone which adapted that. But first thing first is asking you what was your first smartphone? These people need to know what was your first flagship because everybody has his own kind of new flagship which you can get started with and uh, we all know that there's a good experience out of it and uh, we're, we're thinking that we need to experience a good kind of smartphone and you used it and can you just give us your review? Um, actually my first smartphone was LG. LG? Yes, LG. Um, it was good actually. The camera was good. The applications were good, even the system also. The system was really good, it functioned well. Go five pillars of a smartphone. Do you know them? Yes. Okay, can you break it down like any pillars of a smartphone? Um, first, uh, software. Software, nice. That's, that's good. Secondly? Mm -hmm. Display. Display. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, performance. Okay. Ah. I can get the rest actually. <laughs> okay, yeah. we got it on the list here. Now she did wonderful, like three of them, that's dope. Now, the first thing first for you guys, so as you can get a good smartphone, first of all, you have to look upon display. Display plays a big role because that's how you're gonna view your smartphone. If it's a smaller phone that is called mini, do you remember back then we had Samsung Galaxy Pocket? Yes. Yeah, it was so tiny device. Now, if you're using, if it's today, you have been given Samsung Galaxy Pocket, will you enjoy using it? Feels so like a watch, right? plays big role when it comes to uh, computer stuff, when it comes to uh, smartphones and stuff like that. Yeah, that's about performance. Now, there's something called camera. Now, we'll leave it to you so as you can break it down. How was your, your, your LG performing on the camera? Was it giving you a distort image or was it a little bit good when it comes to selfie? First of all, we didn't have a selfie camera. You know that Oh, at the back. The rear cameras. The rear cameras, yeah. Yes, it was good. It functioned well. Oh, nice. So you can you can even get a picture through the dark place. Yes. Wow. That's no. Do you remember the model of the phone? Uh, no. No, I don't remember. Okay. Okay. Uh, another kind of stuff upon your smartphone since then up to now. What are you thinking about uh, the, the the improvement? Are you thinking it's that? they just did a little bit minor update or there's a big change between the uh, long since you told me that it's 2012 you had it now up to now 2018 is it that there is a little bit of new improvement yes can you like uh, demonstrate them a little bit um the functionality of the, the phone i mean the battery back when i had my, my phone you know the battery is just draining and draining and draining you know yeah. and I think uh, in 2017 I had this phone, but the battery was good. It functioned well, and also the camera was like it was Very amazing. Nice. Yes. Nice. So that's about how the camera performed. Now jumping into the battery, we all know that a really good smartphone gives you a good battery. Now you get a lot of juice. Perhaps I have a phone like this one gives me only one single day. That looks like a disaster. Whenever your phone, the other phone which you're using, it uh, it doesn't have a lot of juice, just uh, call it like battery. Mm -hmm. So when it doesn't have a lot of juice, it uh, you can just take that phone and charge another phone. So it's a phone and phone charging another phone. It's dope, right? Nine point zero. 
What will it be? Just guess. Any? Pi. Wow, that's that's. Great. It's called Android Pie. Well, Android Pie has a little bit kind of new features, but few smartphones still right now that the ones who, which have the Android Pie. So to 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 your own kind of um, experience throughout your phone, do you think that your phone can get an Android Pie, or do you think that you can just um, wait for a couple of while if you wanna use the Android Pie to buy another new kind of flagship? I just have to wait for time that I can Get buy a phone that I can buy a phone. Actually, uh, it would be really good if I got an update. It would be good rather than buying some other phone, you know, it costs a lot. Sometimes. Yeah. So, jumping out of the box and let us adjust the elephant in the room is that techno you guys you have to focus on updates rather than focusing on we, we all know that you have good display we appreciate that and uh, secondly you guys your phones are budget but giving that kind of experience to somebody you must give them updates updates plays a big role on your smartphone i've been talking about it so much on my youtube channel and uh i hope you guys gonna fix it perhaps later on and uh did you know that they applied the notch like an iphone x they copied everything like I, i'm sincere dear techno i'm sorry but that's the truth yeah we're adjusting the elephant in the room there, there is a big elephant in the room. <laughs> okay <laughs> actually you you techno you should just not do that like that's that's weird because they have the same same aspect body ratio at the back of their phone what they did how iphone x just looks like it has two cameras right two cameras at the back now what these guys did they did the same thing they copied off everything the only main differentiation is that they have a fingerprint at the back <laughs> that that's how you can tell the difference but jumping out of the box the phone looks completely like iphone next now that's a little bit embarrassing because i can't say it's embarrassing you you guys put a lot of hard work to make that kind of stuff and we really really appreciate that but on the other end somebody goes to buy a phone he gets the same same kind of flagship iPhone X looks <laughs> so it's a, it's a little bit weird, right? Yeah. Another kind of stuff is a notch. They adapted the notch of the phone. Now the notch is like halfway of the screen. Like you, you get this camera and the display goes like this way, like 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 merry-go-round. Like you remember that song? Yes. Yeah. So so you guys adapted the song. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jumping out to the conclusion, it's a good phone. Now it's called Techno Camon 11 and they didn't announce it yet they're like planning to announce it perhaps on january that's by my own perspective 6gb 6gb mm -hmm. okay um yeah the voice of the camera camera side, side. 24 24 wow that's on itself yeah wow wow that's all wow wow now specification that accuracy 100 percent the camera of the self is 24 megapixel which is so good and the other side of the storage it's a 64 gigabyte of storage and it's a 6.2 inch display which is has a full view when it comes to display and it's so legit very legit device but it has a processor which is eight cores like octa core mm -hmm. a lot of processors there but still, we are jumping out to the conclusion, is this device actually worth it? Do you, do you find it worth it? Or is it just that I can stick with Techno Phantom 6 for a while because it's running Android Marshmallow, rather than me spending $250, they price, they say the price actually. It's 200 uh, Techno Common 11, and the Techno Common 11 Pro is 250. So it's a little bit minor there. It's like almost if you give it to Tanzanian shillings, it's 500. Yeah, 500. It's almost like 500. 500 lakhs. Yeah, it's 500 lakhs. So it's something which, to my own kind of experience, I think it's a good smartphone, but to other end, it's not that much legit because if you're having a Phantom 6, why you want to buy a Techno Camon 11? Because of a notch or your own kind of experience do you think that is it so much important for me to buy a new kind of flagship rather than me staying to the only one flagship i've been using it 
Okay, if we are staying with one flagship, that means I must focus on getting updates. Yes. Right? Now, still jumping out of the box, adjusting the elephant on the room, you guys don't give us updates. <coughs> <laughs> so Techno, please fix on that and uh, we are really really appreciating on your devices and it's so legit. Now, our last question, between iPhone and Google Pixel, what is your favorite phone between, if you're being given today, a knife and a Google Pixel, which will you pick it up? An iPhone. Why an iPhone? And you live um because you're using um right? Why are you living um? You know it's unique. They don't copy almost everything, you know, like not almost everything, they never copy anything, you know. They're always unique, they just have their own designs and you can see it's good because other companies copy from them. So just by that you can just say that it's a it's a good phone, they have these features which are amazing and Okay, that this means Apple has a great design? Yes. So other companies, they're like on the tail? Maybe. <laughs> that's a slightly maybe, but <laughs> that's a big maybe. Actually, uh, iPhone has been a good company from my own experience and they have a good customer service and uh, they have good security. And uh, on other end, when it comes to Android, there's a lot of downside of it, but not a lot of downside, but still it's a good smartphone. Okay, that's it about the Techno Common 11, and we are waiting for it to come around the corner so as we can give out a review on it. So that's what's up. So thank you guys for watching. Anything you want to say, really, like telling them, anything like that? Um, just don't forget to subscribe on Adult's channel. Wow, that's dope. Thanks, Mini. I really appreciate that. Another kind of stuff. Well, thank you guys for watching. And we'll be catching you guys on the next one. We usually do this whenever we sign out. Peace. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. <laughs>